Body high campers, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. Welcome to the pleasure dome. Does that work? No? Pleasure. No, that, sorry, that was rubbish. Um, got a special guest camping with me today. It's a family affair. Family. <laughs> I've got my nephew, Lloyd out. Lloyd, welcome to the video. Thank you got all red. Thank you. Lloyd's first wild camp today. And you can always tell when it's someone's first wild camp. It's gonna go behind you, Lloyd. Oh, look at it. And show you that. Look at that. He's double rucksacking it. <laughs> He's double rucksacking. <laughs> I lent him all the kit that he needs in my green rucksack there. Gave him plenty of space for food and beer. And yet he still needed a second rucksack. Last night he reliably informed me it's about 90% beer, so it is, to be fair. <laughs> he's gonna have a good time. <laughs> but it's uh, bright and early again as usual, heading into uh, one of our usual spots and uh, we have a nice camp around the fire. Got a bit of crafting to do, a nice bit of cooking. Uh, I did suggest to Lloyd just to bring a pack of sausages, but he's gone mental. And brought a ton of food with him, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to cook up. Should be good. Should be good. Should be good. So I'll bring you along for the ride. Bye for now. Say bye, Lloyd. See you later. <laughs> It's a bit touch and go there. Yeah, no need to rush. Way. I was thinking about chucking a bit of extra birch bark on, but we might get away with this. Yeah, that's the catch, that's taken to that. to rain. Have to get a tarp up in a minute. Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> High campers, so we're all set up now. Down there, got Lloyd in the hammock. Um, and I'm in my canvas tarp, got my 8x8 tarp with my wall bed roll. Got a fire going, and got a brew on at the moment, brew number two. But I've just come out here because I want to grab some of these bad boys. Make some uh, nettle cordage. It's lovely up here at the moment. Though. It's been about three or four weeks since I come up here. And the amount of uh, growth, all the sort of growth coming from the ground is phenomenal. Lots of wild edibles to be had around here. I mean, you got the, uh, the nettles, and then in amongst that, you've got the um, cleavers as well. Or um, 
as it's sometimes called sticky willy because it sticks to you but that is an edible and cook that in. I might actually um, chuck that in my curry later as well so I've got some uh, where have I got it I collected some leaves I hope I haven't lost them collected some jack by the hedge leaves earlier I have to find out where I put them so I'm going to put that in my curry as well but yeah I'm going to get some of these nettles now take them back to camp and um, make some cordage I think um, for no other reason than just to practice the technique because it's been a few months since I last done it and I just want to make sure I keep my skills up to scratch and uh, do something around the campfire I'll bring you back in a bit There we go folks, it's a bit a bit rough. I was running out a bit of then. But it works. Plenty strong enough. And I could carry that on if I wanted to, just twine on a bit more of the um, nettle that I prepared, but it's good to practice the technique. Ideally before doing this you need to let that dry out. Um, this might come a bit loose over time, but it's good to just practice. So there we have it folks, I've got the um, 8x8 wax canvas type out this time a bit more space than last month with the um, flat cut and for the first time with this type I've got it set up as a uh, little plough point got it fairly high at that end um, and then inside I've got the, uh, the wax canvas bed roll same as before with the wool blanket and my David Fry's pouch there with spare or warm clothing in. And uh, oh, just get down. So on the stump over there, I've got my, uh, my foam roll mat, um, which I'm sitting on the present, but then when I go to bed, it will go underneath this for a bit of extra comfort. I'm undecided whether to have a fire tonight yet or not. I don't know how cold it's going to get kind of on the edge now where things are warming up and I might be able to get through without the fire tonight I might not I don't know um, what I think I'm gonna do is I've got the fire bowl with, with me in the bag I've got the Osprey bag with me today and I might have a fire over here just outside the shelter um, I'll prep the wood get everything ready to go and I might bed down for the night and if I wake up feeling a bit chilly then I might fire it up 
and get the fire going, I might do that. We'll see what happens. But otherwise though, it's nice and comfortable. The wood's over there, carving his spatula. Fire's going, bluebells are out. Birds are singing, it's lovely. Got more guests arriving later today. Got my uh, my brother coming, one of my brothers, with uh, his one of his sons, Charlie's joining him. I think they're both going to be sleeping in hammocks tonight as well. Just got Lloyd set up with his ha with a hammock um, and some kit as well, so he's going to be comfortable tonight. So yeah, looking good. Gonna, I've got. A, a spoon in my bag that I started carving at home recently. I've got it all axed out and ready to go. So I think a little later on I might pick that up and um, do, do some of the knife work on it while sitting around the fire. That'd be nice. But what a lovely day. Had a bit of rain but nothing major. Very comfortable. Hidey high campers, so the other day at home in, back in the shed I started carving a, a spoon from a bit of uh, plum that my neighbour down the allotment gave me. He was, he was pruning back his uh, plum tree on the plot, asked if I could help him, I said yeah of course I can but can I have a little bit of your plum for carving and he said yeah no worries. So took it home that day and uh, had quite a few knots in it, so I could only make a spoon this big. But it's got some nice colours going on in it. I've got most of the axe work done, and all I'm going to do now is start nibbling away at it with a knife, um, which taking away some material at the back here. And then when I've got that down to a point that I'm happy with, I shall start shaping the spoon and uh, shaping the bowl and what have you. But yeah, it's looking nice. That is a nice colour actually. Plum always comes out nice. All the fruit woods are nice. They've got really nice colour about them. A little nibble away at this with the axe actually. Right, time for a bit of lunch, folks. And I'm going to do posh baked beans. Got a bit of chorizo, onion, some mushrooms in that silicon pouch there with a little mini baby bell. And a little bit of a aromat seasoning. All of it's got to go in that pot. So, time to get chopping. Always just cooking up some uh, soup on the billy can over the barbecue there. It's a nice little fire pit that. Quite like that. Good if you want to come up here and have a fire off the ground. It's a lot safer as well. And the pièce de résistance. Enjoying camp, Lloyd. Really enjoying it. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Nice one. Having a good time. Looking nice forward to cracking a, Looking forward to cracking a beer later. And that time is calling. Yeah.
Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I think. Got another rain shower coming in. Every now and again through this morning there's been the odd shower. Only very light, nothing major. I um, haven't really felt any of it really because of the canopy starting to leaf out a bit. So the canopy is sort of keeping us fairly safe and dry. It's one of them days today where the smoke just wants to keep following me around. Doesn't matter where I go. It's in my face. It's been a rot sod. Nice day though, nice chill camp. Get a bit noisier shortly because my brother's gonna turn up with his a couple of his kids. And there'll be more more hammocks to be strung up. But it's all good. Don't do what these folks are doing. Can I have the 250 quid? <laughs> <laughs> this could go any moment. I'm glad you're doing this for your amusement anyway. No, I'm doing this for YouTube. Oh. <laughs> this is, this is going to break the internet. Fat man falls out of ammo. Thanks, son. <laughs> nah, that's better, isn't it? That's I think all right. We're good. Yeah. I think we're good. I'm going to turn it off. Last time we cast it, we had bannock bread with sausage and... Again, I just didn't want it, it was like, that was like 100 quid and I didn't want it to get ruined. No. Alright, oh, it's gonna... Because most it's... of the time we're just fires, aren't we? And... This is gonna look a bit sketchy now. Right. It's gonna look like I'm making a thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, camera's rolling. No, it is. It's not what you think it is, right? <laughs> Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you've got to make it, you've got to work it a bit to make it longer. <laughs> it's, it's getting a bit sticky. Don't overwork it, though. it gets sticky. <laughs> Might fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just do this. No, no. Don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Twirly whirly. In the ash. Ready tomorrow morning. <laughs> Cheeky gear. All I've got to do now is pull some coals up. Coals over. Oh, <laughs> come back here. Yeah, right. Has anyone hit the uh, can yet? Yeah, I've hit it twice. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. Well done, Wood. Okay. Why do you like canvas? 
I've got new arrivals at camp now. My brother in the Hennessy hammock there. And another one of my nephews yes. in that hammock there. And they're currently shooting their uh, catapult. Was that? Ow! Did you, just, <laughs> did you just catapult me? It's only a tickle. It's only Clyde. Just been shot. Would, would everyone stop getting shot? <laughs> <laughs> trying to like film a YouTube video here and this is what I've got to deal with this is why it's always good to film on your own sometimes you know um, just, just, people don't play ball sorry about that folks so unprofessional but they're shooting catapults got dinner on the go cooking up, up a curry and uh Missed a golden opportunity earlier because my brother there, Matty, he fell off his hammock. <laughs> if I'd have had my camera rolling then, I think it would have beaten Kim Kardashian and broke the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go, you live and you learn. I'm gonna get some dinner on the go. some uh, nettles and cleavers just to uh, put in the curry for a bit of greenage just to finish off Nettle. chuck that in I've got some leather gloves in my bag if you want them go and get them go in my bag it's in one of my side pockets it's in the one with the kettle in I'm pretty sure Dinner is served. Oh, it's much better like that. Mm. Diagonal. Nice, eh? So that was basically a um, vegetable danza recipe. It's got lentils, sweet potato, cauliflower, some nettles and cleavers, and then a spice mix that I made up of garam masala, turmeric, cumin, a bit of cinnamon, salt and pepper, and some aromat seasoning as well. That's nice. A little cheese ball for dessert. Look, that's why your bag was heavy. Yeah. Well, that's sweet. You're going to use all the tagli in that massive box? <laughs> Probably. Why? This is why he's a two rucksacker. <laughs> he's brought he's brought a massive box of tagliatelle he's brought a barbecue humongous lunch box 17 beers a chopping board that he doesn't need because he hasn't got nothing to chop up yeah got my work cut out yeah but bimbles did earlier
Hi, hi, campers. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. I've got three family members staring at me at the moment whilst I film this, laughing at me. But um, it was a good night last night. Um, drunk a bit too much wine. A little bit of a fuzzy head today. But we've all packed away. Left no trace as usual. Scattered the ash from the fire. All clean and tidy. All of our rubbish is packed away. Did everyone have a good night? Yes. Good night. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Night. Lovely. Bit, little bit chilly at points, wasn't it? But yep. yeah. slept really well. Slept without the fire until about 3 a.m. and then I lit it up, and that kept me a bit warmer. So that was nice. But yeah, nice camp. Shame about the company, but um, you can't you can't have everything, can you? But I'll leave you there for now. Bye for now. Let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>